Are these snowmen? They are snowmen, yes. They're not oh. skulls. What's up, my dudes? It's Demi, and it's Mickey's very Merry Christmas Party 2023, and I am here to give you the ultimate guide to the party. I'm gonna break this video down super simple so you can follow along so you do not miss a thing. First, we're gonna look at all of the entertainment. Then we're gonna look at all the activities. Then we're gonna look at the snacks. Then we're gonna look at the merchandise, and there's gonna be so much more in between. So let's get into it. Let's do Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023, and let's go get into some hijinks. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. However, guests can enter the park around 4 p.m. They're actually letting them in a little bit earlier because the line is astronomical. I, I can't even tell you how much this line wraps around and goes all the way back down by the ferries. I recommend if you have a daily ticket or an annual pass to go through this way and then you can pick up your wristband once you're inside the park. You can pick up your wristband at Tortuga Tavern in Adventureland, at Mickey's Philhar Magic in Fantasyland, or here in Tomorrowland across from Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Party guests have an opportunity to join a virtual queue for Tron Light Cycle. It will open at 6 p.m. You have to be checked in and get your thumbs ready because it goes fast. After you check in with your ticket, you are going to get your party wristband. Make sure to wear this the entire time of the party. They will also give you your party ornament, which is great because then you don't have to wait on a second line just to get your free ornament. And it's so cute this year. And finally, they are gonna give you your Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party map. And I think it's so beautiful this year. Everything that is happening at the party will be on the map. The rides that are open, the specialty food, the entertainment, and more. One, two, three. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! I mean, you can't even see it because it's still yeah. light out. <laughs> it is 7 o'clock, which means the party has officially started. So let's start off by seeing all the entertainment offered here at Very Merry Christmas Party. Our first bit of entertainment is the Castle Stage Show, Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration. You have four chances of catching it, 740, 925, 1035, and 1155. I will point out tonight, they have these hedges in front of the stage to block off some filming equipment. I hope that doesn't happen to you, but if it does, just stand a little further back for a better view. It's Mickey and his friends. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our most merriest celebration.
next on the list for entertainment is Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. You can catch it at 8.30 or 11, and it is magical. Minnie's Wonderful Time Fireworks begins. It's only one performance at this event. And I suggest heading toward Main Street and stand in between the Ice Cream Parlor and Casey's Corner because this show has fireworks that go behind the castle so you will get a better view and you can still see the projections. Welcome everyone! parlor. I love snow so much. All the fun of snow with no shuffling. Our next bit of entertainment is a brand new castle stage show called Frozen Holiday Surprise. There are two showings, one at 6.15 before the party officially starts and at 8.15, but when there isn't a very Merry Christmas party on the calendar, Magic Kingdom plays this show at 6.15 every night. So if you're going to be here at Ma in Magic Kingdom, you don't have to waste your party night waiting for this show, and you can do it a different night. Oh, here come my friends! Surprise! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you did this? With help from my helpful little helpers. Now it's time for our holiday surprise. We proudly present the Yule Bell! Anna, you brought the Yule Bell from Arendelle? That's right. <clears throat> I mean, Kristoff and Sven helped. A little. Before we go, I have a holiday surprise too. You do? What is it? Well, it's what makes the holiday season so special. Oh, I know. Is it present? There's something better than gifts. Must be sweet. Nope. Games? Not that either. But well, what else is there? Times with those we love. Oh, Elsa. Being able to share a special memory with family and friends is what makes the season our favorite time of year. Our next bit of entertainment is at the Tomorrowland stage and it's Club Tinsel. And look who's here to party with us. It's Nick and Judy Hopps. Come on now. Woo! 
We go celebrate and have a Jack and Sally, and I highly recommend if you would like to meet them, and by the way, Jack is dressed as Sandy Claus, to use the time before the actual party starts. So right now it's like 5.50 and the party starts at 7. It's at 30 minutes. This line can get so long. During Halloween it was crazy, but when people were first entering, it was at like 120 minutes. So I think this is like the sweet spot time to go meet them, so let's do it. Oh my God, there they are. I'm so excited to finally meet them. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jack. Hi, Sally. It's so nice to meet you. Quite scary skulls you have on you. Oh yeah? Are these snowmen? They are snowmen, yes. They're not skulls. I once saw one of those in Christmas town. So there's no skulls on the inside. Oh, thank you. So is it that just horrifying? It's just all that snow. Yes, I know, you have so much still to learn about Christmas. It's true, we've been trying our best to learn, but we always have to put a Halloween Town twist on it. Yes, I, I, that's 100% what I have to say. I prefer Jack's Christmas, but just for us, not it's for... true, not for everyone, I learned my lesson. That's true, but I prefer your Christmas too, actually, oh, I so love it. So what scary gifts do you want this year? Oh. A snake that will eat your tree. No, I was actually thinking about a giant spider in the corner of my room so that it can frighten me in the middle of the night when I see oh. its big black eyes open at me. How terrifying. It's right so at terrifying. 3 yes, at 3 a.m. is oh. right. I think we can find one of those in the cemetery we somewhere. Just after we wrapped up one or one two. Of these. Oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> we'll have to listen for any scratching. It's true. <laughs> It was so nice to meet you both. Have a scary Christmas now. You too. That was amazing. Jack and Sally don't do autographs, but you get this incredible keepsake postcard. So Jack and Sally will start meeting at four, but they are the only ones that will. Everybody else will start meeting at seven o'clock and we are waiting online before seven so that we can beat the line and we end up being the first people here over at the riverboat. You will find Tiana and Naveen. There they are. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I am so excited for her ride next year. Hi guys, it's so lovely to meet you. Ah, yes, they're snowmen. I think that the bow is a little too big though because you kind of miss it. They're really cute faces. Well, I think it's just the bee's knee, sweetheart. And Thank you must have won this great in honor of us. Yes, absolutely. Well, it was very thoughtful of you. We yes. do like green after all. Reminds us of the swamp. Yes. I have to say, it does take us back, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm super excited to see some of that greenery next year. I hear somebody is getting their own attraction. Well, I'm really excited to share my story with my friend Shirley. will be there. Oh my gosh, I will be there. I'll be the first in line. I'm well, so that's excited. Well, that's a good idea. We ought to save a place for you, don't you think? Absolutely. But my, my question is, will you be making beignets? Well, I'll be making beignets, sweetheart. That's what I do best, don't you think? <laughs> the, the best beignets in the whole land. You oh, yeah. Order. We'll get you, you a special table. You are the we'll luckiest person chair. alive to be able to oh, be with chair. the woman who makes 
the beignets that like change the world. I agree with you. I mean, she did teach me. Now I can mint some garlic and also powder some sugar on the beignets. <laughs> Good worker. <laughs> Let's take a picture. How should I stand? It's just like this? Okay. It was so lovely to meet you guys. Have a wonderful night. Over by Magic Carpets of Aladdin. There they go. There goes Jasmine and the Genie. You can meet them here. And they flip flop with Abu and Aladdin. Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore are meeting people outside of Winnie the Pooh, the ride. And they're dressed up for the holidays. And their line is long. Next to Pinocchio Village House, over by the castle wall, you can meet Aurora and Prince Philip, and you can meet Snow White and her prince. This line was long before the party even started. So just be prepared. If you want to meet them, people are lining up pretty early. Over by the Little Mermaid ride, you can meet Ariel and Prince Eric. That is so cool. And these are the times that they are meeting. Over by Dumbo, you can meet Donald and Scrooge McDuck. And then the other line is Minnie and Daisy, but Scrooge McDuck. There is Scrooge all the way back there. The lines are just really long tonight. And we just don't have the time to wait on so many lines because we have a lot to do. Over at Pete's Silly Sideshow, the seven dwarfs are back but it's at a 40 minute wait. I did get to meet them during Not So Scary and they were so cute. And then in the tent behind Pete's Silly Sideshow is Santa Goofy. Do you guys know what they call Goofy in Disneyland Paris? Dingo. For some reason, his name is the only one that gets translated. In front of the teacups, Tweedledee and Tweedledum are back. Hi guys. You know, the party only is a certain amount of time and the characters don't come out until seven and the lines can get pretty long. So just make a priority list of characters that you'd like to meet. You can find them on the map who's gonna be here and go and meet your priorities because it's impossible to meet that many people here, unfortunately. Another activity you can do here is go on the rides, of course, but what's so great is that because people are doing other things and technically there is less people than the regular park day even though it really doesn't feel like it anymore. Wait times are super low on rides and then some rides get holiday overlays like the world famous Jingle Cruise but the Jingle Cruise is also happening during regular park hours so if you are going to the park during the day do this and don't waste your party time and do something else like like the Tomorrowland Speedway, which in my opinion, it's the only time you should ride the Tomorrowland Speedway. I, I don't know why I, I am terrible driving these cars and they are so clunky and it smells like gasoline and let's do it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my God, my ears are feel like they're gonna fly off. No, they won't because it goes very slow because it's meant for children. Ugh. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But look at the pretty light. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I can't drive this thing. I don't know why. It's so hard. Oh, look at the pretty light. It's so loud. Oh, it's so pretty. Gorgeous. Woohoo! <laughs> this is fun. Wee! Oh, look, Tron. More lights, more lights. People mover. To be honest, I think this is the best I ever drove. Mark. He's all the way back there. It's a race. It's a race. I'm winning. I'm winning. Listen, I'm a New Yorker. I didn't drive until I was 21 years old. Give me a break. <laughs> and we're back. I told you this was the only time you should, <laughs> I, this is why you don't film and drive. But this is when you do this ride, when it's Christmas. Get me out of this car. I'm pretty sure I lost a lot of my hearing just now and I have no idea if any of that was usable with 
regards to audio because it's just so dang loud here. Another ride that got a holiday overlay is the teacups with the lights and all the Christmas music. It is awesome, but um, I just like, I, I don't want to get sick today. The next activity you can do is get your free treats. You will find on the map and throughout the park these giant blown up peppermint sticks. That means that is a location where you can go and get some free hot chocolate, some have free eggnog and cookies. And you can get as many as you want and take them home and get your money's worth because this party is very expensive. You know, Not So Scary wasn't that long ago and they have a similar activity of like, trick-or-treating. And it feels weird that you don't say trick-or-treat to get your treats here. I almost said it. So it looks like Columbia Harbor House has hot chocolate and cookies. Trick or treat, happy holidays. Hello, hello. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So each location will have different cookies and here at Columbia Harbor House, they have chocolate chip. It is way too hot for hot chocolate. But it's very good, very chocolatey, better than I remembered. Tortuga Tavern has a treat location. Oh my gosh, eggnog and cookies. Thank you, trick or treat, happy holidays. Happy holidays. I'm so hyped for eggnog. Oh my God, it's so good. I know some people really hate eggnog and I get it. it it's a weird thing, but I love it. So yummy. And here we got a buttercream frosted gingerbread cookie. Oh, I actually might try this one. Ooh, it's very dense. Oh, that's good. I love gingerbread. Not really a fan of the frosting, but it's all very good. Let's see what the lunching pad has. Happy holidays, trick or treat, thank you. Oh my gosh, apple cider. I am so excited for apple cider. Oh my God, that's so good. And our cookie here is the buttercream frosted green sprinkle cutout cookie. Our next activity are the photo pass opportunities. You can find them on the map. This one in Liberty Square, I am freaking out. It's going to be a Muppet Christmas Carol one. Let's do it. This is a new photo pass opportunity. The Haunted Mansion is getting some projections. The lights keep changing and they're playing Christmas music. Next to Storybook Circus on this wall is that photo pass opportunity where you get that cool peppermint swirly background. I did it last year. It was very fun. Next activity are the photo ops. There are three of these in the park. The first one is here in Tomorrowland with Stitch. Over in the hub on Main Street, you have Seasons Greetings with Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Pluto, Goofy, and Donald. Then in Adventureland, across from Sunshine Tree Terrace, you have Melakaliki Maka. All right, it is snack time. There is so many exclusive holiday snacks at this event, and we are gonna try a few right now. We are starting in Liberty Square at Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. They are offering two holiday snacks. The first one is the holiday waffle sundae, which looks great, but I am so curious about the other one. Here is the milk and cookies for Santa. It's brown sugar cookie cake topped with chocolate chip cookie dough mousse, milk mousse, and chocolate chip cookies for $6.49. Okay, so we have our cookies and our fake milk, which is made out of mousse, which you need a fork for. Can't really dunk it, it's not like liquid, it's mousse and there's cake in it, duh. So let's try. Oh, that's really good. It's very creamy and because they have those chocolate chips, it kind of almost has like a, a reminder of cannoli, but it's not a real cannoli flavor. It's definitely like more of like a chocolatey chip flavor. That is so, so good. Mm. And then you get the little chocolate chip cookies. These are okay. Out of the package chocolate chip cookies, but they're cute. And this whole thing is adorable and it's really, really tasty and very unique. Over in Fantasyland at the Friars Nook, they have a bunch of options. I really wanted to get that peppermint snowman, but it, I just came too late and they were sold out. They were very popular. So instead, we're gonna get the holiday ham fried pie. Here it is. It's a flaky pastry filled with baked ham, candied sweet potatoes, and spiced pecan served with a pineapple glaze for $9.99. It's a little sweet, little savory. Let's open it up. Here is the inside. It's very ooey gooey. It was hard to pick up, so it just got messier. Let's give it a try. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know what to think. The flavor is okay, the sweet and savory, but what got me was the texture, those like chunks of ham and that hot gooey sauce. It just was not it. 
Um, but if you get this, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. It's just, it's not for me. Maybe it's just a personal thing, but I, the texture is just kind of for me. Well, it's not just me. Andrea? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I tried it again, and honestly, it's the flavor too. That like cinnamon spice of the potatoes and that glaze, it just, it does not work. And then the texture on top of it really doesn't work. I mean, we're just, we need to, <laughs> it was, it, it's just not it. Jessica and Kristen are here to show us the popcorn buckets and the sippers this year. <laughs> The popcorn buckets are how much? 28? 28. 28. And the sippers were 14, but they made them buy the drink. Like no matter what. So it came out to $20. And oh, and he lights up. That is just adorable. <laughs> Man, it's expensive, but they're they're so cute. Made it into the Emporium. Let's take a look at all the exclusive party merchandise. Everything looks so beautiful. Let's do rapid fire merch with prices. Joy to the World Spirit Jersey. And here is the front and it's shimmery and it's $80. Pot holder and cookie cutter set, $24.99. Kids t-shirt, $26.99. Long sleeve shirt, $39.99. Mug, $16.99. Snow globe ornament, look at that, that's so cool, $19.99. Pin, $17.99. Moving on to the pass holder item. Pass holder t-shirt, $39.99. Pass holder pin, $19.99. And one more pass holder t-shirt for $34.99. Well, my dude, that was Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party 2023. I lost my voice, so bear with me. I had the best time. I just absolutely love this event. Disney does Christmas like nobody else. I will say the one thing is the crowds. It's just very, very crowded, unfortunately, and it makes it hard to do a lot of things like wait on lines for photo pass and characters and food. And that's unfortunate, but despite that, this event is just so magical. It's just the best entertainment, and I just have the best time. So let me know in the comments, are you coming to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party this year? Stay tuned for my Jollywood Nights video coming out this Sunday, November 12th. <laughs> and lots more coming to the channel, of course, too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinx. Check out the Patreon, become a patron, get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, help with trip planning, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like this to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get some hijinks very, very soon. Happy holidays. Have a bye.